Your book starts out by saying, we've got a problem. Our smart people are doing the wrong things. Tell us more about your book. My book's called Smart People Should Build Things, and it was born out of a decade or more of my career. Uh, so when I, I graduated from Brown in the mid-90s, I'd studied economics. I didn't know what to do, so I went to law school, which is one of the things you did if you didn't know what to do at that time. Uh, and I found the people at law school, really, none of us had any idea why we were there. Maybe some of us pretended. And then uh, law school clarified very little about one's path in life, and so I became a corporate attorney here in New York. And I found it was a bad fit, so uh, I then left to start an ill-fated company during the first dot-com bubble uh, that didn't do well, it failed. And then the question I faced then is a question the book tries to address, which is how do you develop young people to become entrepreneurs instead of lawyers? Uh, since I, I tried to be an entrepreneur, it didn't work out so well. And so uh, I then uh, learned from a more experienced entrepreneur and went on to become the CEO of a company. So, so the book is about how we're channeling way too many of our smart young people to uh, law, finance, consulting, um, grad school, and other fields, and not driving them to early stage companies that will end up uh, creating jobs and opportunities throughout the economy.